Welcome back guys. So this video is kind of a hard one. My favorite time of the year is the holiday season and I love kicking it off with Halloween but Halloween is the best time I feel like for eyeshadow palettes which is why I have almost 20 palettes here to rank. This is my biggest ranking I've ever done. I've been really busy over here but there are some freaking good ones and I'm excited to finally give you my full thoughts on these and show you which ones are my favorite. If this is your first time here, my name is Heather and I am so obsessed with indie brands and indie eyeshadow palettes. I think they're so amazing, but I love colorful makeup and bold looks and just having fun, getting excited. But if you love those things too, I really hope you will subscribe. And if you do, don't forget to click the little bell because you want to be reminded of all my future uploads. I have a lot of good things coming. There are a lot of good releases coming that I am so excited for you guys to see. But we'll get there when we get there. But let's dig in guys so a few of these palettes i did get in pr and whenever we get to them if i forget to mention it i will pop it up on the screen so you guys know and i do have codes with some of these brands and i will also pop that up on the screen if you shop my links that are with those brands they are affiliated meaning i will make a small kickback and I know quite a few of you use my codes a lot, and I just want to say it really means a lot to me. I mean, you don't have to, and there's no pressure, but it really does mean a lot, and it's not even, like, about the monetary value. It's the fact that I have a freaking code <laughs> with one of my favorite brands, and you guys love me enough to use it, and it's just... I still can't believe I'm here. I still can't believe that this is my life and I finally get to share it with people who get the obsession that I have with eyeshadow palettes. So thank you guys so much for your support, your comments. Listen, I have a wall over by my desk and all the comments that like make me cry or are really meaningful i print and hang around my desk on the wall so when i look at them i see them and you guys have changed my whole freaking life so like inside and out if that makes sense so thank you for your support even if that means you're just watching commenting and interacting with me i just i really am so grateful i'm gonna shut up and we're going to talk about these palettes. This is so hard. And I want to just make a disclaimer. There is not a single palette in this stack that is not good quality. They are all fantastic quality. I rank these basically on color story. And if they like go from light to dark, how easy was it to create a full look with them? And stuff like that. But... I love them all like they're so freaking good okay so there are 18 palettes here and I'm gonna be honest with you there are two palettes in this stack that I would not have bought had it not been for having a YouTube channel and it's not because they're bad or anything it's like little nitpicks with the color story so the first one which is coming in at number 18 is the warlock of the wood this palette is so beautiful and the quality is 10 out of 10 the shimmers are gorgeous this shade right here is freaking breathtaking i literally lost my mind it's so good but it's just not my favorite color story. There, it's a little too neutral for me. I do love that it's cool toned. And, you know, I, I love the looks that I created with it. I do have a video with this of most of these. But it's just not my favorite. Like, out of the ones that I have, this is the one I think I'm most likely to reach for. And it's like more of a companion palette for me. It's a preference thing. And the same thing could be said at number 17. I think some of you are going to be shocked that this ranked at number 17. But like I said, this ranking was really hard because there have been so many hits. But it's the Undergrowth palette from Cosmic Brushes. This palette is so freaking beautiful. Cosmic Brushes has one of my absolute favorite matte and shimmer formulas. 
The only reason I rank this lower is because to me, this is a little too mono monochromatic for my taste, but I love the looks that I've created with it. I did have a lot of fun. There are some really gorgeous shimmers in here, and I love a swampy, grungy color story. I, I don't know if it was me, like... You know, my mood affects the way that I do my eyeshadow looks. Uh, I mean, like anyone, I feel more creative when I'm having a good day. And I think around this time, I was like kind of like overwhelmed and stuff. So that could be why like I feel the way I feel. So I really just need to play with it more. But I felt like the looks that I created looked a little too similar if that makes sense but I still think this palette is beautiful and if you love this color story you will 100% love it I love their quality I have almost every palette they've launched it, except for the first one and it kills me because I really want that one too <laughs> okay so coming in at number 16 pained me to put this here but the other ones ahead of it are just better in my opinion but it is The Strange and Unusual. This is from Bella Beauty Bar. I love this brand. They are one of my absolute top favorites ever, which is why it kills me that I put this here. But I do have other palettes that they have released recently in this, and I just like those ones a little bit more. I love this one, but I wish there were more mattes, and I feel like this uh, green doesn't go like it does go with the shimmers but it doesn't go with the other mattes as well as I want it to I just felt like the mattes they selected for this palette needed adjusted a little bit but that's me that's just a personal preference but I do love their matte formula if you love this color story I'll let you see it up close I think you will be so in love with this because it really is beautiful. I wish I could see what you guys see, but it's so freaking beautiful. I just wish they would have tweaked the mattes a little bit. I don't agree with like the color, the undertones of the mattes for the shimmers. Like you have this bright purple. It's so freaking gorgeous. And Afterlife is so gorgeous. Oh, I love the shimmers in this palette. Like as a standalone, it, it doesn't work for me. I would need to bring in another palette. But as someone who just likes eyeshadow and is not trying to film with the palette, because when you film with the palette, people want to see like a full look with the palette. So it if I'm ranking it that way, that's why it ranks lower. But if I ranked it as like a companion palette, it would probably be higher. I hope that makes sense. Let me grab some makeup wipes because you guys know I'm going to want to touch everything. Okay, so coming in at number 15, this one pained me as well. I had a giveaway on my channel recently where I selected four winners and I let them pick any palette from any brand that they wanted. And one of the winners is actually someone that I've met through having this channel and I found out she had a channel as well. But her name is Shimmers and Silver. I will link her account down below. But she picked out this palette and I don't blame her. It's so freaking gorgeous. She made a whole video on it, which was so freaking sweet. I literally cried when I watched it. You guys should check it out. I'll link that video down below. But she's a sweetheart. You should totally subscribe. But she hasn't got to try Inslee Rain yet and I was so excited that someone picked Inslee Rain because it's like I get to re-experience them for the first time again and like live through her and it was wonderful but I love this palette. I love every single shimmer in this palette. I love the mattes. I love how cool tone and wintry it is. Oh my god I just want to touch everything. They're so pretty. Like, look at those. Oh, let me turn my lights down so you guys can see better. It makes me kind of look like crap, but it makes the shadows look so much prettier. And, like, they're just, like, one swipe goodness. They're so stunning. 
I just love this palette so freaking much. Like I said again, it pained me to put it here because this is a number one palette, 100%. I would not change anything about that about this one. And and honestly, from here on out, I wouldn't change anything about any of these. I just had to rank them based on preference, like I've said it a bunch of times. Sorry if I'm getting on your nerves. But coming in at number 14 is actually what is on my eyes. And it's the Divination from Blend Bunny and Robert Welsh. Oh, I love this palette. I've had so much fun with it. I want to create some more looks with it. I'm going to try to on Instagram, but I keep saying that and then I'm like so behind right now that I have not done anything for Instagram. So just hang in there if you're following me over there. But I love this. My favorite palette from Blend Bunny is the Longing palette, but this is definitely number two. The shimmers and stuff are so freaking beautiful. That video should already be up. I just finished the last look with it today, but it is so perfect. They did such a great job. I love that it goes from really light to really dark. You guys know, if you've been here for a while, I love that deep, dark, dramatic outer corner. So this definitely gives that, and I think they did such a wonderful job. I am totally not surprised though. And I love the packaging and the fact that it like matches his YouTube like aesthetic. It's just so freaking beautiful. I'm like looking at this stack and I keep thinking, oh my God, I don't want that there. That should be higher. And then I look at the higher ones and I'm like, oh, it can't be. <laughs> but anyways, coming in at number 13 is so good. And it's the new release from Diveroon Cosmetics, the one they did with Basket Case Beauty. Her looks are freaking incredible, by the way. You should follow her over on Instagram. But this is the Witch in the Wildflower. I love the packaging. It's so gorgeous. And this freaking color story is so good. The shimmers in here are so incredible. Like, these ones are like really smooth this one is like that squishy formula and it looks like it's flaky but once you like swatch it out i didn't pick up enough but once you like swatch it out it's so beautiful why am i doing that on that top, that side of the hand hold on guys i get so ahead of myself my hands are already like sparkly af but like once you swatch it out on the hand it really smooths itself out and I hope that's picking up, but I just think that's so freaking beautiful. I really, really love this formula. I really love the shimmers that were in it as well. Like I had no issues with blending or longevity or anything like that. Honestly, this formula kind of reminds me of Inslee Rain and, um, Bella Beauty Bar and those are two of my top favorite brands. You know how they have like that smoother formula and then they have that other one that's like really like high shine, high impact. That's what this like makes me think of. I love the mattes that they chose. They all go so well together. Like you could go full on monochromatic or you could stick and like switch it all around. Like let me just say the purples in the crease and then that yellow on the lid is so freaking pretty. But I've had so much fun with this one. I did five looks with uh, this palette and the other one. That video is like an hour and a half long if you guys missed it. But I do have timestamps. And it's like very detailed and stuff. So if you have time, that much time. If you don't, I get it. But I think you would love the video. So I'm so annoyed because I was just editing the ranking. And I'm missing a palette... 12, 11, 10, and 9. Like the footage corrupted or something. I don't know. So I wanted to come back on here and share them with you guys so you wouldn't think I was crazy and didn't know how to count. So coming in at number 12 is the Gourmand Girls Nightshade Palette. So as I mentioned in the corrupted footage, the this palette is actually really discounted. I think it's this one. And I had to let you guys know about it, but this is so freaking beautiful. I love this color story so much. I really love the purple and the yellow. I love purple and green. Those are some of my favorite combos to wear as well. I just think they are so freaking stunning. 
but oh, this yellow right here, flower, flowering, is so pretty. Oh, and I love the shade Poisonous. It has like a blackened base, and it looks so gorgeous, especially with those uh, the gray and the black. Highly recommend that combo, but I would go over to the site and check them out because, like I said, some of their palettes are like really discounted. Coming in at number 11, and it really pained me to put it here, but it's the Harvest Moon. So I don't have a video on this one or Nightshade or the next palette. I don't think. Maybe I do Nightshade. Anyways, this palette is so freaking beautiful. I love the shimmers so much. Like, usually I will want, like, a more matte to shimmer ratio. Like, more mattes than shimmers. But these shimmers are so freaking good. And for me, this can't ever probably be a standalone palette. Because the mattes are all, like, really, really dark. Not really, really dark. But they're, like, mid-tone or darker. But I just thought this palette was so freaking beautiful. And I've had so much fun with it. I would love to start creating some of those like four looks for palette videos because Amanda was really sweet and she picked me up all of the Fantasy Cosmetica palettes that I don't have and I'm so excited to get them. But I've picked up a bunch of stuff, a bunch of older stuff this month as well. So I would like to be able to create some content around them. But yeah, this is so freaking stunning. I love so many shades in here. Hunter's Moon, um, Foliage, that's weird that that's Foliage, but Witchful Thinking and Tombstone are some of my favorites. Like Foliage is usually green, so you would, like, I don't know, I don't get it. But so let's see, Hunter's Moon is a hollow and it's so freaking gorgeous. It makes me so excited. Oh, and Witchful Thinking is so pretty as well. I love these deeper shimmers. Like, look at that hollow chrome. It's so freaking beautiful. But I really do enjoy a lot of these deeper shimmers. But there are light ones as well. Like, that orange is so freaking good. It makes me so excited. Like, if you took a shot every time I said excited in this video, or any of my videos, really, you'd be drunk. <laughs> But I do really highly recommend this. Like I mentioned earlier, you could literally close your eyes and just pick a palette on the Ensley Rain site. And I truly think you will love anything that you pick up. So now we are down to the top 10. And these are so freaking good. I love them all. And coming in at number 10 is the Gourmand Girls Haunted Palette. Did you guys see the sneak peeks for this winter's launch and the new Blend Bunny? Not Blend Bunny, Doodles by the Bunny collab. It looks so freaking good, both of them. I'm so excited. But I think you can get these two palettes in a bundle, like for pretty cheap, which is awesome. So this is the one that I haven't used on camera. I have used Nightshade in my trying on my haul video, but I have used this one off camera and it is so freaking beautiful. This might be one of my favorite palettes. I really love these long palettes, but Perfect Peach is so freaking good as well. But I really love this color story so much. It's like so perfect for Halloween time, but for me, like, it's perfect all year round. The shimmers are so freaking stunning. I love the yellows. I love that there's even two different tones of yellow. You could do it with the purple, with the green, with the brown. Like, there's so many fun looks in this palette. But just look at those. And there they are on the hand. They are just so freaking stunning. I just really love the Gourmet Girls formula. And I'm so excited that I am affiliated with them now. It just makes me so freaking happy. But I do recommend both of these. I think they're beautiful. They're great quality. And they're like really unique kind of color stories. And to me that makes them a lot more fun to play with. Coming in at number nine is the Nomad Chicago Speakeasy. I was so freaking excited about this palette. This reminds me like so much of the New Zealand stargazing. I mean, they are so completely different. I don't mean in that way. I mean like as in how much I love it. 
So the New Zealand Stargazing has been one of my favorites since it released. It is my favorite from the brand, but I love this palette. I love this color story. It's so fun. I love the cools and the warm tones mixed in here. I love mixing tones together. I think those create some really fun and unique looks. I absolutely loved the looks that I created with this and I love this formula. Like, look how freaking wet and glossy that looks. It's so stunning. I love that bright green matte as well. Like, in the crease with any of these other mattes is such a beautiful look. These are some of my favorite shimmers. And they're just so smooth and reflective and glossy and beautiful. We even have some multi and duochromes in here as well, which make me so freaking happy. So this red shade, actually, you can build up and make it more opaque as well. I'll show you. There it is when it's like completely built up. It's so stunning. I just love it. I had so much fun with this one. But those are the palettes that I lost footage of. I just wanted to come back on and give them their moment and, you know, explain my thoughts on all of them. So you guys wouldn't be left in the dark. I do recommend every one of them, especially if you love the color story. I really think that you will love these, but let's go ahead and move on to palette number eight. But coming in at number eight is the Leather and Lace from Unearthly Cosmetics. I use this one off camera as well, but I've been eyeing this palette for years. I love this freaking packaging so much. I don't, oh, it's so freaking cool. But this color story, you guys know how much I love grungy things. I love fall, so I'm so excited to have this one in my collection. These shimmers are outstanding. Oh, I should have showed you some from the Gourmet. I did it again, but you can still see. Like, they are so beautiful. I guess I could finish swatching them. I keep putting it on the wrong side of my hand, but they're so shiny and wet looking and just glossy. They make me so happy. They are so beautiful. I love this one. The only thing I would change about this is maybe add some, like, lighter mattes for us little ghosty people. But honestly, it... It's freaking beautiful. I lost my mind. I can't even talk right. It's like 11 o'clock now, guys. I am... I'm done today, but I always have time to talk about eyeshadow palettes. Like, it's my favorite thing in the whole world. Besides Amanda. So, coming in at number seven is a number one palette, and it's Lands of Enchantment. This is another one I have not done videos with yet. Just a swatch video. But this palette has lived rent-free in the back of my mind since the day that it released. And I'm so happy to freaking have it in my hands. Look at this. This is so sickening. Oh my god, the shimmers, the mattes. It goes from light to dark. This is a fantasy. Like, it's so freaking astounding. It's so beautiful. The freaking shimmers in here are so insane. I almost put that on the wrong side of my hand again. If I do it again, I'm going to scream. But look at this. Oh, my God. It's a holochrome, too. I love hollows. Listen, I recommend any Inslee Rain palette on the site. Just close your eyes and point. Like, they are so freaking good. They are one of my top, top favorite brands. I really want to do looks with this palette. I have to. I will lose my mind if I don't. So, hopefully I'll be able to start doing some of those four look videos now or soon, but it's also declutter season almost. So, I'm, that's probably going to take a little bit of time as well, but I'm definitely going to get to some of these older palettes. Let me know which ones you guys are excited to see looks with, if any. So, coming in at number six is, this is a palette that I got in PR, and it's from Gourmand Girls. It is the Calavera, and I love this. I literally lost it when she showed me this palette. I love the color story. I love these new shimmers that she's done. They are so beautiful. It goes from really light to really dark. I love the whole concept of this. She did this 
for her grandmother who passed away to celebrate the Day of the Dead, which I didn't even know that was really a thing. And when she sent me this, I looked it up and I love it. I made my grandmother a video like in celebration of the holiday. It makes me wish I wasn't like born in Ohio and I had like different, you know, what's it called? Customs. We don't have customs like that, but look at those shimmers. I love the looks that I created with this palette. This red that's in here is so freaking gorgeous. I think it's called Fuego. I may be mispronouncing, but I'm trying, but this is so beautiful. I'm so grateful that she sent me this. I definitely would have bought it had she not. I love this color story and the artwork. I think she did a great job. So this next one I also got in PR and it's from Unearthly Cosmetics. You guys know this is one of my favorite brands. I hope you guys get to pick some stuff up from the 40% off sale. It's probably over by the time this video goes up, but oh my God, I love this palette. I, I created one of my favorite looks ever with this because this shade up here is kind of like a fiery peach. It's look three in my video, but it's so beautiful. But I did, uh, a black crease and like it was really dark and dramatic but then I did this shade in the inner corner and then I put this in the inner corner I can't remember what else I put on the lid like shimmer wise but oh my god it was one of my favorite looks I've ever done I love this palette unearthly has one of the most highly reflective smooth shimmer formulas like they all feel like silk I, I don't know how else to describe it. They are just so freaking beautiful and wet looking. They're very high shine and reflective. If you, if you deal with creasing or anything like that, you would really, really love this shimmer formula. Like, it's so freaking beautiful. I hope they're picking up. I can't see. But I love them. I have not missed an Unearthly Cosmetics release in like almost two years so if she had not sent this to me I would have definitely bought it it's a lot it's really helpful though to get stuff in PR because not only does it save me some money because I do try to keep up with the releases but it also gives me time to film stuff with it early and my videos not like a month later than everyone else's and that is really nice but I love this palette I'm so happy so this one in Calavera I actually got at the end of September I think but I had to film my ranking early I had to pre-film it because we were going out of town so that's why they're included in this one and there's one other and what I'll mention it when we get there so coming in at number four is the Bella Beauty Bar Vamp Palette. This is a new one. I love this. I've heard a lot of people say it's their favorite. I wouldn't go that far, but I really, really love it. I had a blast with it. I love the color story. They have one of my favorite shimmer formulas ever. I already mentioned that, I'm pretty sure. But I just, I think this is fantastic. I love this shade up here. Let's do a little swatch. I love these deep shimmers. And this one's got like this beautiful red, like flip. Oh, it's so freaking pretty. And then Undead is gorgeous as well. They're all gorgeous, like, but I can't swatch them all. We'll be here for 10 years. And then Hello Brother, which is that red hollow. Like, do you see that? It's sickening. They literally just take my freaking breath away. I literally sit and wait to see what this brand is going to release. There's a few like that for me, like Cosmic Brushes is one. I did pick up that mystery box, and it's supposed to have a um, new palette in it. I'm excited, but Cosmic Brushes is one. Bella Beauty Bar, Ainsley Rain, Gourmand Girls, Nomad. Like, those are brands. Now, Fantasy Cosmetica, too. I love them. But I just literally think about it all the time. Like, I wonder what's next. What are they going to do for their release for holiday, spring, etc. But, yeah, I'm so in love with these brands, with this channel, with what I do every day. It's so freaking fantastic. But 
Coming in at number three, I swear to God, this is such a number one palette. Oh my God, I wish I could put all three of these in the number one place. And honestly, they're probably pretty interchangeable, like depending on my mood and what I want. But as of today, this is how I would rank them. So number three is the Harvest of Souls from Fantasy Cosmetica. I hate to put this here. Oh my God, it's such a number one palette. You get the grungy, the blues, the greens. These are some of my favorite colors to wear and they're all in one palette. I love their shimmer formula so much. Do you see how like this blue right here has like that sage green base? It's so pretty and it looks so freaking pretty with the shade and undead. And then you have eternal and it kind of has that sage green base too. I don't know if it kind of looks gray as well, but it makes it pair so well with any of these tones up here on top. I had so much fun with this palette. It is so fantastic. That's why I'm like so excited that Amanda decided to pick me up those other palettes because I've been looking at them for years. You know they have like a spot on their site too where they've had like faulty palettes that might have a scratch in the mirror or a scratch on the outside and they literally sell them at a pretty decent discount. So if you didn't know that, I thought I would throw that out there, but... I highly, highly, highly recommend this brand. I have four palettes from them, and the quality is fantastic throughout, but I have not tried their earlier stuff just yet. But look at that. You guys know how much I love blue, and that is like green to blue. Sign me up. We got to swatch these. These are so pretty. And then this is that soul shade that kind of has like that sage base. It's so pretty. So I wanted to show you like some of my favorite shimmers in this palette. Like they are so beautiful. Ugh. Like they take my freaking breath away. I love them so much. I highly recommend this palette. The looks that I created I think were so beautiful. And I know a lot of you did as well. So thank you for your sweet comments and for watching. It really means a lot. So coming in at number two. Ooh, I love both these palettes, but I'm still, like, real sure about my number one. But it's the Ensley Rain Underland palette. I keep wanting to call it Wonderland. The artwork is so freaking amazing. I love it so much. This color story, though, is so perfect. It is everything. Listen, when I saw this palette, I was so freaking hyped for it. I definitely want to play more with this. It's so beautiful. When I got it, it had, like, these little like white boxes on top of everything I thought they were protectors I mean they were actually protectors but I thought that they messed up and sent me an all white palette I was so upset and then I went to I took them off because I realized they were fake and then I dug my finger in that white like an idiot I, <laughs> I laughed so hard at myself but this palette is so freaking fantastic oh I had so much fun I definitely want to create more looks this shade right here oh I love it that deep one it's so freaking beautiful I want to swatch them all so these are some of my favorites and let me go ahead and swatch this one this is shatter looking glass these are so beautiful but here they are swatched out like they're so pretty do you see that bottom one too but here's that shade shatter looking glass it's so pretty it's not showing like the flips and stuff in it. It's a hollow, you can see it there. It's so freaking stunning. I love this palette, highly recommend. I also really love the looks that I created. I probably have already said that, but everything's running together. But I love this color story. I think they did such a beautiful job. I love that they put the white in here so you could uh, lighten any of these colors. But I also love that they put this deep, deep dark shade. This palette was made for me and I loved it. Highly recommend. So my number one palette, this is probably going to be my number one palette of the year. I'm excited, but oh my God, I can't. I'm going to have to like lay everything out on the floor to rank this year's palettes. 
but I actually ranked it in my last video, I mean my last ranking, and some people wanted to know like why I didn't rank it with um, the Gargoyle palette from Unearthly, but the reason I hadn't was because I hadn't finished filming looks with it when I pre-filmed, so I thought I would give you guys the satisfaction of including both of these palettes in the ranking this month. So. It's the Poison Garden. Oh my God, this is the best palette I've tried all year. And that's high praise. Listen, I am a colorful girl. I love color. I love bright, bold looks. But I also love grungies and grungies. I also love grungy looks. And this palette just captivates me in a way I can never, ever describe. The looks that I created with this were so freaking fun. These two shades are two of my favorite shimmers in my whole entire collection. The shimmers in here are so fantastic. I absolutely love this color story. It's this palette, I literally think about it. I literally laid it in bed and thought about it and how much I loved and, and enjoyed playing with it. They really did so, so good. And I highly, highly recommend this. And like, even if you have to bring in another palette for some lighter shades, it's still worth it. But honestly, I'm pale as a ghost. And I was able to blend these out with no effort at all. I just love this. Let me show you. We're gonna, this shade right here, Angel's Trumpet. Oh my god, and it has like that green base. It's so outstanding. But the shade Belladonna. I lost my freaking mind. I almost said my ever-loving mind. Like really, my, the, my passion for this palette is very strong. Look at that. Oh my god, it's like so insane. And then we have Poison Hemlock. This is a hollow, I'm pretty, yeah. And it's so pretty, oh my God. It's like a steely blue, but it has like these gorgeous glitters in it. It might not be a hollow, it's hard to tell because I have so many freaking glitters on my hand. <laughs> but I love that one as well. Wolfsbane, oh it's so good. I could be here all day swatching this palette. So I'm gonna end it at this one, but it's so pretty. It's got like a clear base, but it has like a silver gray flip. The base is kind of mauve and it is a, another hollow. It's so beautiful. Let me um like pick them all up too on my finger and then I'll go over like the swatches. That way you can see them on the fingers. They seem to look a lot better that way. And there we go. They are so freaking good. So good. Like, I have not been this excited for something in so long. And that's saying something because you guys know how freaking excited I get over eyeshadow palettes. I just love them. I feel so inspired by them. They truly bring me joy. It's like the best money I ever spent. And... I do have a code with this brand, but I buy all of my palettes with them and Inslee Rain and a lot of these other brands. I just got on the PR list with Nomad. I haven't even received anything from them except for the three like little mini palettes. And like I just got on Gourmand Girls PR list as well, but I will say I none of that would be possible if it weren't for you guys and your support and you know, you. I just can't, I can't describe, like, oh, if you knew my heart and, like, where I came from and, like, what I've been through, some even at my own making, and just feel my heart now and where I'm at, like, God, you guys have changed my whole life, but... Thank you so much for watching all of my videos, for everything that you do to interact with me, for your friendship, for your excitement for me when I do get codes or PR. It really does mean the whole entire world. But if you guys picked any of these palettes up, let me know what your thoughts are on them. Let the people know down in the comments because several opinions are better than one. I always say that. Like, we, we can all have different preferences and stuff, and to even different preferences for formula types, but 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I really hope you will. And until next time, bye. That one was a little wonky.